Okay, hello everyone. Today we have a review of the new router from Huawei company, which is called Huawei AX3, which was released in 2023. Actually, they call it Wi-Fi 6 Plus here. They indicate it everywhere where it's possible. So let's check it out. Let's speed test. Let's just review the option, setup, and all the other settings. All right, so let's see from the back what it has. It has Ethernet, four ports, Four ports up to one gigabit which is quite good to have uh, finally uh, Huawei and other companies started to switch from 100 to a gigabit also for Wi-Fi it support AX uh, and B and G 2x2 MIMO 2.4 gigahertz and 2x2 MIMO 5 gigahertz on AX uh, AC and A uh, MIMO connection speed up to 3000 megabits is theoretically of course uh, features it's a KVR protocol visualized Wi-Fi coverage map IPv6 IPv4 Wi-Fi timer guest Wi-Fi device speed limiting Wi-Fi access control parental control VPN DMZ virtual server and actual bring one connection static IP address so this all regular one how they indicate here so basically you have the Huawei AI live app which can help you to manage actually this router and visualize Wi-Fi coverage so you can actually draw your apartment and will help you to di diagnose network issues all right so basically that's it let's open up and test it out okay that's how it looks like Quite nice package actually rotors here and quite heavy heavy enough also have a LAN cable here and charger basically and some instructions well so that's it okay let's put off something that we don't need and go back to router itself so let's open the package. Mm, okay, I think, yeah, that's how we open it. All right, looks quite nice and thin, stylish design. Here we have Wi-Fi 6 Plus indication, have one button, which is Huawei AI button. From back you have how web address, how to connect and it's indicated that this is WS7100 V2. Uh, that's how it's called, no passwords required and it's 12 volt 1 ampere. And here we can actually scan for the app Huawei AI Live and Wi-Fi 6 certification available as well. So let's open it up, Wi-Fi 6 Plus indicated from both sides. So you cannot move it left or right and that's the maximum so that's how it looks like actually quite modern and stylish from back what we've got we have the reset button we have when LAN so basically it doesn't matter which one to use one two three four plus power here is just regular power connector which is similar to all the routers Connect it like this and turn on in a network. Here we have some rubber a bit and uh, this part for heating. So basically for pre preview itself, that's it. You have also indicator here, forgot to tell you. So let's connect it and uh, actually after connecting it, uh, let's test it out. All right, so let's connect our router to the network. Here we connect it to power, so red indicator is on. And let's connect it to LAN, so for LAN, actually like this. So let's see, it's indicating red, and let me download the app, Huawei AI app. I actually have it here. So I have my bottle, 
Mm, update later, plus, agree, add device, scan code. Okay, let's try to scan. Okay, add manually, routers, uh -huh -huh. home routers, VS500 is a 700. 500 Pro X3, yeah, X3, I guess. Let's connect to it first. Here we have Wi Fi 6 already showing. Sign into network. Agree, agree, get started. Create a Wi Fi network. Detecting the internet. Mm -hmm. Password. Okay, let's put one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Router login next. Enter router login password. Can we skip it? No, one, two, three. Save. Okay, save. Mm. Backup, save network, white stop, make sure. Okay, PV6, save. Ah, I think it's already restarted. Oh well. Okay, it should be restarted now. Let's reconnect. Have need to input the password, I guess. I oh, know it's connected already. Okay. Okay, let's try just to connect by entering the code. Okay, so basically, I've connected to router. Let's put one, two, three, login. So here we have the settings. Let's open desktop app. I think it will be more available. So like this, I don't know whether you can see it or no. Maybe need to decrease a bit brightness. Uh, all right, so basically what we have here we have internet connection time uh, Devices connected IP address uh, connect to internet. So here is nothing special my Wi-Fi So you've got option to prioritize 5 gigahertz also security which is up to VPA 3 available also Signal strength can be max here, manage devices. So just devices, more function. So here is uh, software version, LAN, MAC address and all the others, manage updates. So it can be automatically updated and now it's checking for updates. So using the latest version, which is 200112. Network settings, IPTV, virtual private network, link plus setup, Wi-Fi settings. All right, let's check it out. So we have a, a BGNAX, bandwidth can be selected from 20 megahertz up to 40 megahertz, guard interval short, invisible Wi-Fi, so same settings for 5 gigahertz which is up to 160 megahertz can be also you can select the channel by yourself mm, you have wi-fi access control wi-fi timer wi-fi repeater security option as well firewall and system settings uh, auxiliary function sleep mode power saving you've got fast roaming all right so it's just basic setup so let's test out of course my wi-fi here is only 100 megabit so you will not really feel the full speed of it but let's just test it out mm, it's easily going to almost 100 same as uh, actually it's by the cable 93 so it's same as by the cable and I think it should be really good so to sum up 
I believe that this uh, version of Wi-Fi router will work well, so maybe I, I record another video after using it for several months. But design is nice, you have got four ports, it's quite thin, looks good, uh, and support IX, actually Wi-Fi 6 Plus AX, which, which should work quite well, so... In case you have some question, I think I will use it for several months. And if you leave your question in the comment below, I will definitely answer it. All right, thank you very much for watching. Put the thumbs up and see you next time.